Now today, in our latest episode of How to Make a Woman's Pump, we are uh, going to hang the lining. Now one little thing I like to do before I actually go ahead and hang the lining is um, to put a strip of um, skived leather at the back seam, actually out like that, in order to reinforce it. I'll just glue that in place and um, once the stitching is done then I'll just uh, trim it. It just adds that little extra bit of reinforcement at the back. So what I'll do is just glue this up and lay it in place. Look at it from the inside. That's a little better. So the, um, you know, along the seam isn't really going to provide too much support because it's just been uh, glued in. But when the uh, stitching comes along here, it's got roughly a centimeter or so to catch on to just adds that little extra support there. So I'll do the same for the other one. And just lay that in there like that. Just gently massage it into place. And that should work pretty well. I haven't really learned how to do that little tab that they do at the back. But um, this works quite well. I've uh, made many pairs of orthopedic shoes using this technique and it uh, works quite well. Now the next step of our um, hanging the lining is to hang the counter lining. Now the reason why we want to hang the counter first is because the other lining will lay on top of the counter lining and make a nice clean connection there. And this layer will simply be glued onto the counter lining and then we sew it all the way around. So, now I like to use uh, rubber cement because we're just kind of tacking it in place until we can sew it. So we'll lay it on wet. And when we come to separate the lining from the upper up to the stitch line, it'll be, uh, it should release quite easily. Clearly I need more rubber cement. Okay. Let me just take our lining at the center. Lay it up here. Remember when we made our patterns we allowed for a five millimeter um, allowance. So just go on there like that. That'll hold into place nicely. Bring it up a bit on the back. There we go. There we go. And on the inside, as when we go to last it, like that looks a little lumpy there, but when we go to last it, we'll pull all that out. And it should be quite neat. Okay, so that's the counter on the right upper. And we'll do the same on the left. 
So now that we have the counter lining hung, uh, we're going to hang the lining for the uh, front vamp. So what I like to do is um, tack the front part in place first and then come back and get the sides. So I'll lay a little cement on there. Neatness does count, but this is kind of a big brush. And so we'll lay that on there, roughly following our uh, trim lines for the bottom on the lasting allowance. And uh, because we did make a right and a left, it should fit on there quite nicely. I think we could go a little bit more this way. Flip it over. Well, I guess we could still go a little bit this way. So we have a nice uh, allowance here, and we'll use that later. And this will soon be carried up here and uh, glued to the counter lining. So we'll go back now and we'll do the other one. So now we'll come back to the other one and anchor the sides. Just a little bit of cement. That'll hold in place nicely. Down, we'll do this side. back and do this side. So our next step will be to get regular contact cement and very, very carefully because in this case neatness does count. I'm going to pull this back. some glue on there. And a little bit on the other seam. Of course, 
gluing leather to leather you're going to want um, two layers of glue so we'll let that dry and come back and glue it again one layer to be absorbed by the leather and one layer to actually make contact like that we'll come back for that there we go we'll let that dry okay so that glue has dried and we'll put our second layer on and again uh, we don't want to glob it on too much in this case because um, it will be making contact with the uh, quarter lining and uh, we don't want the glue squishing out so we'll just do it like this You notice I laid it on wet because it is going to have to make good contact here with the lining, counter lining. So now when that gets in the shoe you're going to have a very clean seam there. Flip to the other side. Same idea, just very light. And just layer down nicely. Try to do it so you can see it. There we go. So that's one. And go back to the other side. The other the other upper. down Go to the other side Okay, so there we are. Our uh, lining has been hung, tacked into place, and uh, now I'm going to go over to the sewing machine and uh, sew the top line all around. I'm going to use uh, brown thread on the inside, red thread on the outside, and uh, I'll come back and show you how it looks. Alright, so we're uh, back from the sewing machine. I've uh, stitched the top line here uh, all the way around and um, I don't know if you can see that very well. We obviously don't zoom in very well but then uh, you can see on the inside here stitching with the beige stitching all the way around and that's great so now our next step will be to last the upper over the last so we'll see you for our next episode thanks a lot